hey guys welcome back to ask hr with etonam your channel for authentic hr content i'm particularly excited today because i'm here with Yvonne who will be sharing some really great tips with us today. Yvonne is a certified human resource practitioner, has been practicing for over 10 years now. She holds a master's degree from Coventry University in Business Decision Management and is also an assistant psychologist with the Ghana Psychological Association. So she's here with us today and we are going to be learning a lot from her. Thank you so much for joining You're us welcome. today, Yvonne. Okay. Today, we want to share with you how to write a winning CV. Now, your CV is that document that speaks to people about you when you're not there to speak for yourself. On average, each corporate job attracts 250 resumes. And that does not mean that 250 people applied. A lot, thousands of people will apply, but 250 people's resume get looked at. Out of that 250 people, only one out of six is going to get the job. Only six people will be interviewed out of those 250 people. Will that one person be you? If that will be you, then it means that you should be part of the six that was called for the interview, interview. right? Sure. Yes. But how would that happen if your CV is terrible, if your CV is bad, something that no recruiter wants to look at every recruiter will take an average of six seconds to know that i want to engage this person or not, not. Yeah. yes and so that's what we are going to show you how to make your cv that one that will be picked out for an interview and eventually getting the job so stay with us as we dive right in tip number one before you begin your resume you need to research research is very key which industry do you want to work in? What are the requirements in that particular industry? What do they look out for? What skills would you require to stand out in that industry? So based on your research, you are going to tailor your CV to suit that particular industry. Exactly, exactly. Tip number two, relevance. There's this thing people do. They have one CV, just one, and they apply for all kinds of jobs with that one CV. So you see why you've never been, you've been applying for two years now nobody has called you for any interviews because your your cv is not relevant tailored now you are applying for a particular job how is the cv that you are giving them relevant to what they are looking for what's the content of the cv does they apply to what they are looking for if it doesn't apply you may be applying for jobs and be frustrated but nobody is going to reach out to you so your cv must be tailored to be relevant to what the people are looking for yeah very important and you have people using the same cv in the same organization applying for multiple, multiple roles jobs in that the same. same definitely that cv yes. will not be paid yeah. so another important point is evidence it's very important most people cvs they just write statements without evidence to support somebody can write i was i'm the best salesperson what makes you the best salesperson if you want to write this maybe you get the team on a campaign that brought in 5,000 Ghana CDs daily to the, as revenue to the company. That is evidence of what you did. So you don't just make blank statements, but make sure that you have evidence in there to support. So your CV is telling a story, painting a picture Definitely. for us to see what you for actually see. really exactly. done. Anytime a recruiter is looking at a CV, he or she is looking at what value, added value is this person bringing to me. So are the contents of your CV projecting that added value you are bringing to the organization if that is not happening as the person is looking at your cv there's no way they are going to engage with that cv definitely yeah. your cv should stand out with the value you are bringing on board if yeah. not it's not it's i mean it's not worth it and most job adverts would have key qualities and skills that the recruiter is looking out for you can highlight those in your cv yeah. so the next step is positive language and what do we mean by that I said earlier that your CV should be telling a story, painting a picture. And so when we say positive language, we want to see you doing the action. There are some people that use passive language for even tasks they are accomplishing right now. Okay. So someone will say was responsible for, for something that the person is currently doing. So we want to see power words like 
I spearheaded this. Yeah. I managed mm -hmm. this. I supervised a team for so so and so project. So we, we are seeing you in action even though you are not there physically. Yeah, definitely. And another very important but I mean people take this so for granted is the format of your CV. These days we have I mean people put all sorts of interesting interesting <laughs> uh, I mean they put all sorts of information that is not relevant. And like yeah. Etta said in the beginning, a recruiter would spend less than six seconds to know if I want to, I mean, proceed with this particular person or not. So the format of your CV is very, very important. Now the format is not a one size fits all thing that you should. For an entry level, the format will be different from a middle level and a senior level. So we'll delve deep, deeper into the format in our subsequent videos. Right, right. Our next tip is to pay particular attention to your personal information section. Oh my! There's no telling the kind of things people put in their their personal. personal. You know, you can just know someone's entire life history from their personal section. Exactly. People put things like their age, marital status, their hometown, their hometown and a lot of those things. No, anytime their bed dates, their bed dates things like that. All those information, if the interviewer wants to know, they would ask you in the interview. Now, what we need in your personal information section is how we can reach out to you when we want to. So, what we basically want over there is your contact information, really. Basically. So, you, you can spare the uh, recruiter all those other details Detail. because those things are not attractive at, at all. all. No, but the moment a serious recruiter looks at your cv and then personal information is so loaded Long. with your life history there's no way they are going to engage it Definitely. means that you didn't do you are not meticulous enough to produce something they want to engage yeah. with so you won't hear from them so that's why you've not been hearing from them yeah. your personal information is too, is too much, much. <laughs> yeah yes, yes. <laughs> and i mean another very important thing is avoiding errors in your cv it was interesting i i once saw a cv the person wrote i pay attention to details and how she spelled the attention to details <laughs> was even an error yeah. and so people in a hurry and i mean they get so busy i just want to apply for this job quickly so you know what it's better you spend more time putting together a good cv and spending i mean and then knowing that this particular cv as i'm sending it out than to be in a hurry to apply for the job with full of errors, spelling mistake, punctuations where they are not supposed to be there. It makes your CV, it makes, it actually annoys the interviewer because this is your life you are actually joking with because you are selling yourself. I'm not going to, I mean, I'm not seeing you in person. All I can see is your CV. And in your CV, it's already full of errors. errors. Then the person- What are you bringing to the it's job? It's very scary. Yes. So, I mean, you should pay yeah. particular attention, even if you have to proofread your CV, 10 times yourself asking somebody else to prove read it for you it's better but errors are a no 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 you shouldn't have yeah. errors in your cv yeah. Yeah. the final tip we want to share with you today is that get help in designing your cv and yes sometimes it will come at a That's fee sure. but how much is it it's not worth you know doing it yourself if you are just unable you don't understand how to craft Crafts, one yeah. that's really good enough to get you through the door we have crafted our series and have gotten so many engagements sometimes we only attend the we interviews we for the experience we don't necessarily you. want the job but the cv is so good it attracts people you know so you'd want to get help there are so many resources um we might share that in the comment section how to get some of those resources get in touch with those people that can help you craft your cv to be a winning one yeah and i mean you don't necessarily have to do it yourself if you can't do it once you get help you're able to put your cv in a format in the best you get multiple interviews and you will be amazed and even get i mean tired of attending interviews. interviews and it's all because your cv is sharp yeah and the interviewer sees it or the recruiter sees it and then right away knows that i want to meet this person but be very careful that that cv that is i mean you get help to write it's not something you yourself are not familiar with 
that you get there and then you are surprised with the information in there. That's there. You cannot lie in your CV yeah. as well. Very yeah. important. Yeah. 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 So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned a lot from it and will take some more time to, you know, craft your CV in such a way that you attract the interviews you're looking for. Or you can also reach out for help in designing your CV so that you can get those openings that are available. We'd like you to share your comments with us. What do you think about this video? Have you had any experiences you want to share? Please like, subscribe, and if you've not clicked on that notification bell, please do because in our next video, we are actually going to delve into formats and formats for an entry level, a middle level, a senior level manager. So cheers, thank you so much. Thank you.